Bitcoin has hit our exact price target just below 38,000 US dollars. I'm going to talk about why we're most likely going to see some sort of resistance at this area alongside with what pullback targets to look for. And if we continue higher, I am going to be expecting a blow off top fairly soon just because if we see any sort of parabolic rally from these highs, this is most likely to become very unsustainable. But so far, you can see with these previous breakouts and the schematics that we've seen, we've had this ascending support level hold itself. And so far, if Bitcoin were to even pull back to that $32,000 level, we would still be in a very bullish trend. And we've also got that weekly open sitting at $33,000 US dollars. So we've got two very strong support levels here sitting there for Bitcoin. And those are going to be our next pullback targets. And from there, we're always going to be watching this monthly open for the rest of this month, because at this point, this is going to be the major level for us to determine whether we're going to stay in this bullish trend with the type of price action we're seeing. But when we look at RSI, you can see on the weekly RSI, we are seeing very overbought levels here. At this point, we are above and beyond any sort of RSI level that we've seen since the 2017 rally. And of course, that to me is a sign that at some point or another, we are going to see a corrective wave to the downside, some sort of an ABC correction. The question is when and where is that going to happen? At this point, we are at that $38,000 level. That was the target that we had drawn out. And so at this point, I would like to see some sort of a consolidation for Bitcoin, but there's a lot happening right now when it comes to altcoins as well. By the way, if you appreciate this content, like this video, it really helps our channel. And I want to go over what's happening to altcoins because a lot of you guys are asking me about Ethereum to Bitcoin and whether or not it's better to be in Ethereum or Bitcoin right now. You can see we fail to form a new high when it comes to Ethereum to the Bitcoin chart, which is the chart that really matters. It matters a lot more than the Ethereum to US dollar chart. And so far, we're seeing us just kind of sit here and consolidate a above this major resistance level. And so I don't see this as an issue for Ethereum right now. I think that Bitcoin being that it's still in price discovery, it still has a chance to see higher price levels and that will slow down some of these altcoins. But overall, when we look at Bitcoin dominance, we still are below the monthly and the weekly open, which shows us that altcoin season is still en route. And so far, we are still waiting for that final confirmation of altcoin season by watching this other's dominance chart and this weekly chart to see when are we going to come up and test these moving averages, which we've yet to come and test. And so far, you can see even the other's dominance is slightly below this weekly open. I'm sorry, this monthly open, but it's still above the weekly open, which to me is extremely bullish because as long as we're above this weekly open, things are going to be looking very good for altcoins. This monthly open, of course, is going to be very significant over the next few weeks heading into the end of January. But for now, being below this with Bitcoin at all, not, all new highs is not a bad thing. So far, we've seen a very strong reversal pattern form here for altcoin dominance, and we're continuing to form higher highs. And just yesterday, we formed a higher high here when it comes to altcoin dominance. So it does look like this flag pattern here is starting to break out to this upside. And that's going to be very positive because we are still waiting for that confirmation of us to test these weekly moving averages for us to confirm this altcoin season is en route. And interestingly enough, when we look at what's happening to the DXY chart, what you can see here is we're seeing a lot of weakness in the US dollar. Of course, you can see we're below the monthly open, which is slightly bearish at this point. And we've been in this prolonged bear trend. And the more this DXY chart stays at these lower levels and the more that it declines we're going to see asset prices increase and that truly is going to be one of the biggest factors for Bitcoin to possibly head towards even a $50,000 level. If we break this major support level and the DXY starts to crash, then that's going to be highly probable in the next few weeks. And so what we're watching right now is the strength in the dollar. And when we look at the gold to Bitcoin chart, you can see Bitcoin is continuing to take gold's market cap away. And that is going to be a trend that I believe is going to continue throughout the next few weeks into the next few months. Of course, of course, a lot of institutional funds are moving capital away from gold and into Bitcoin. And we've seen that trend since August of 2020. And that I expect to continue. I want to talk about some altcoin trades that we took. Adam USDT. This is going to teach you a lot 
we had this altcoin trade sent out yesterday in our discord group the link is in the description below and we hit all targets and we're seeing a lot of success with altcoins i want to talk about how we're trading these altcoins because a lot of you guys are appreciating these lessons and if you do want more of these i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below but this was a very simple trade that we took all i did was draw out this resistance level from this point on the 31st of december to this point of the 5th of january and of course we sent that trade out right at this exact time and then we had a entry at this red line here at 6.420 and once we saw this cross that resistance line we saw break out to the upside with very minimal downside and a trade here that resulted in over seven percent profits with a very tight stop loss of one to two percent below that major resistance level and so that is an example of how we're trading these altcoin breakouts of course we're seeing cardano stellar ethereum at these parabolic levels but you've got all of these other altcoins and the way that altcoin season works is first you see a breakout with ethereum and then you see a breakout with other fundamentally sound projects and then from there you see a breakout in a lot of other altcoins and of course that continues throughout alt season and when we look at how alt season kind of played its part in 2019 you can see once we came and tested those weekly moving averages as i've talked about in the past we went ahead and began the altcoin season and that was exactly right here when the previous altcoin season started and then throughout that you know that that five to eight month period of time here we saw altcoin see very good price action and very good gains and that is exactly what we're watching for right now when it comes to our signals and our videos and so if you guys want to stay in tune with that remember to subscribe to our channel it truly helps and of course we're waiting for this retest of these moving averages to confirm altcoin season and we have another week after this week for us to go ahead and test these moving averages and confirm this altcoin season is here and then from there if we test these moving averages i am going to expect us to start moving above the moving averages and possibly come up here to form a lower high or even a higher high when it comes to altcoin dominance but of course with bitcoin right now we are currently doing very well and bitcoin is still at this you know parabolic rally and it's still continuing its rally and i don't expect that to end anytime soon when it comes to bitcoin's price action and of course when we see this type of extreme parabolic breakouts at some point or another we're going to see a correction the only question is when is that going to happen and so far at that thirty-eight thousand dollar level i believe we'll see some sort of resistance but i don't know if that's going to be the top just because volume so far does not look that bad whatsoever we're still seeing good buyers we're not seeing much sell volume and to me that's a sign that bitcoin has a lot of room to go when it comes to the upside uh, but it's just a matter of is it sustainable or not and so sometimes what we'll see is a consolidation like we've seen in these past breakouts before we see a continuation of the upside and so that's why this ascending support line is going to be critical because as we break out more and more with bitcoin we're going to want to come and test these support lines to ensure that this breakout is sustainable and with all the institutions in the market like microstrategy grayscale even paypal buying up bitcoin in the square i don't believe that these dips uh, will be uh, long-lived i believe that they will be very short-lived and we will see continuation to the upside so as long as we don't see a blow off top which we've yet to see and the first identifier of a blow off top is going to be major sell volume so once we start to see major sell volume that's when we can confirm that there is a potential blow off top now what's happening to the dxy is also affecting other asset classes like oil for example we're seeing new yearly highs for oil above 51 us dollars that's the highest it's been since uh you know the the, the big crash in 2020 and we're also seeing parabolic price action when it comes to international markets this is the csi 300 seeing new yearly highs way and above the weekly and monthly open we look at the shanghai composite way and above the weekly and monthly open even european markets are starting to break out and we look at the american markets even with all the chaos happening at the capital we're seeing new highs for the dow jones industrial above 30,000 points which is very positive and i think that trend will continue so as long as we continue to see the dollar value decrease in value and so this is going to be a very important chart to watch over the next few weeks because it is at a critical support level but we're already in this bearish trend and so the question is when is this going to see a pullback and a relief rally we don't know but when that happens that could eventually 
you know, cause Bitcoin to see some lower prices. But for now, Bitcoin is also on a parabolic rally, just like all of these other markets. And I believe that's going to be the trend for all asset classes. We look at gold and silver and we're seeing something very similar with those as well. So I hope you guys appreciate this content. And until our content tomorrow, I will see you guys later. Snipers out.